Hello and a warm welcome to my art enthusiast friends. To all those new here, I am Prakriti, an art educator teaching painting through online classes and workshops. In today's video, I will be swatching my new acrylic paints by Himi Mia I got from Tui Arts. I will also be sharing some color mixing ideas you can use in your art projects with shades I swatch here. If you would like to buy these for yourselves, I will list the link in the description box below along with a dis discount code for you. Wow, I'm so excited to open these. This is a set of 24 colors and comes in bottles of 60 ml each. This seems to be the perfect set for landscape artists. It has a right choice of color set with a variety of greens, blues and browns, making it a delight for landscape artists. The bottles are sturdy, comes with threaded caps that can be opened two ways, at the top with a flip cap and threading to turn. This will be useful when taking out large quantities or refill these in future once they are empty. These are soft body acrylics. Each bottle comes with an easily removable seal. Remove these seals and thread the cap back on to facilitate the paint to flow freely through the flip cap. The paints seem to be well ordered ranging from warm to cool colors. So I will swatch in the given order. Let us begin swatching each of the colors in the set. I plan to make this video interesting by sharing tips on each color and its usefulness in a painting throughout the swatching process. Here is the swatch sheet I have prepared. This time I remember to leave space to write the names of each color. Swatching with white, save applying this color at the end of a painting for highlights only. If you use white in the beginning itself, you won't have a value light enough to contrast the applied whites. Hence save the whites for the end highlights. Next is lemon yellow, a cool yellow and a delightful color to add highlights to your yellow flowers or sunlit green parts of trees and bushes. Moving slowly towards warmer shades with yellows. Next yellow is called Primrose in this set. Looks very much like our chrome yellow. This yellow is great to mix into greens to give a yellowing fall colors or paint spring flower peaks. This is yet another beautiful shade called medium yellow. A must color for sunset skies. Looks almost like permanent yellow or cadmium yellow. Here comes my favorite shade, earth yellow, which is commonly known as yellow ochre. I use this shade a lot in my paintings. This is not only useful to create many earth tones when mixed with browns, but mixing with white gives various shades of ivory. Such a versatile color. Next comes orange. The shade seems to be leaning more towards yellow than red. A definite shade for oranges and sunset skies. <laughs> that was too lame. Of course, we all know that. But have you tried mixing orange into sap green? Do try when adding different foliages in a forest scene for contrasts. Next is a very interesting color, salmon pink. I'm undecided about this one. Looks close to scarlet, however it has a dash of bright pink in it. I think this would be perfect to add final highlights to rose or lipstick if you paint portraits. This is Ponzo, a red of the poppy flowers. Bright and warm for lighter parts of any red elements you would like to paint. This is oriental red. It seems very similar to Ponzo but slightly cooler. Deep red, a beautiful red that is in between crimson and maroon that can be added to the darker parts of flowers, cherries or strawberries. Rose, now this is a rare inclusion in regular sets. This beautiful cool pink is ideal when painting white flowers in meadows or any flowers for that matter. Also good to give that transparent shade for onion rings if food illustration is your thing. Violet, a bright purple that can have a range of uses depending on the mixing. Other than the usual application, I like using this shade with burnt sienna and white to create shadow colors on beach paintings. This next shade is called acid blue in this set, a light or cerulean blue kind of shade that has a variety of uses from bright blue summer skies to beautiful blue seascapes. But a dash of lemon yellow to this can give you a wonderful pale emerald or sea green color for your beaches. Cobalt blue is such an underrated color I feel. It is very helpful in depicting cloudy skies and when mixed with different browns gives fantastic shades of greys. The blues in this pack seem to be slightly transparent as compared to other brands I use. Ultramarine blue, a happy and cool blue that would be perfect for your Santorini or blue city of Jodhpur paintings. I love to use a mix of acid blue and ultramarine blue for bright summery skies. Do give it a try if you haven't already. Russian blue, yet another favorite shade of mine. It has a variety of uses in my paintings from creating greens by mixing yellows or deepening existing greens. I also use it to create dark stormy skies, base of rushing waters or mix enough brown to create a black. Yellow green, 
a beautiful and bright green for the highlight in grass and foliage is a wonderful color to have in your set. Grass green. Now this is a perfect green to paint lawns or jewel tone mountains and fields. This is pretty close to hookers green we mostly find in watercolors. Jade green, commonly known as viridian hue, deep green or deep emerald is a cooler green shade. I mostly use this shade for background trees and foliage in misty scenes. Olive green looks almost like sap green. I feel olive green is usually a slightly yellowish version of sap green, a very important color for landscape and flower enthusiasts. Blackish green, a rare color but I found it very interesting. It may be a good shade to add shadows in between foliage, painting pine trees, oh so many wonderful possibilities for this one. Ochre, commonly known as burnt sienna, is yet another versatile color when mixed with different colors. Mixing red, yellow or blue along with white can create many skin tones. It gives an interesting gray with blue too. The uses for this shade are infinite for artists of every genre. Burnt umber is one color I finish quickly. Not only do I use it to create darker shades or shadows in paintings, but I majorly use it to retain my sketch through various layers of the painting. The next shade in the set is black and this is one shade that does not need a lot of introduction. Many artists avoid using it and mix their own black. The reason is to decrease the attention to this particular color due to its high pigmentation. And now we have finished swatching all the colors from this 24 pack of acrylics from Hinemia which I got from Tuvi Arts. Every shade seems to be beautiful and I can't wait to start using them in my paintings. I will remove all the tapes and start adding names quickly. Tape filling is not something I enjoy very much. You will usually find some rips in most of my paintings and hence the hesitation. With this we have finished watching all the colors from this 24 color pack by Himi Mia which I got from Tuvi Arts. I hope this video was informative and will be useful in your art journey. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite color. You can also leave a comment on any video tutorial request you have. I will try to include it in my upcoming videos. You can also find me on Instagram at this address. DM me if you have any questions. Until next time, happy creating. Bye.